friends, today I will present you the tablet I'm working with, the XP-Pen RS22 second generation. For you to know, I got a partnership with XP-Pen, so they sent it to me for free. But don't worry, if you want to get one, it is the perfect time because there is a lot of sales on the XP-Pen shop right now. But I will explain that later. Let me first introduce you to the 22 artist lady. So as you can see here, I'm unboxing the tablet. So first let me tell you, I was really, really surprised by how huge the tablet was. For you to know, before working with the XP Pen, I was working on the on an iPad and the difference is huge. Here I'm connecting the tablet to my computer. Just know that if you have trouble with the connections on the website and in the manual, you will be guided to, to do everything correctly. So don't worry about that, but still, here is a close-up of me connecting it. As you will be able to see here, this tablet doesn't have buttons, but don't worry, there is a ton of other tablets that have some on XP Pen. You even have tablets with some rotative buttons. Also, if you have this problem, you can do like me and just have a keypad um, besides your tablet. I always used keypad because I was using an iPad and on iPad you don't have buttons. So the keypad is the best way to solve this problem. And if you take a keypad with a tablet with buttons it's even better so yeah just recommend doing it let's have some close-ups of the pen and the tablet so the pencil comes with the tablet and it also comes with a little box to put your pencil in also as you can see here in the box you have uh, a lot of nibs in the box actually is also a support to put your pencil in Now let's talk a little bit about the difference between an iPad and a screen tablet. These are two completely different things. For example, the iPad is really something you can carry with you and the screen tablet is something stronger. <laughs> I mean, of course, it depends on your computer. For example, I had a lot of struggles with the iPad when making my hard work because the artbook was really, really heavy. It, I'm not here to say iPad is bad because I still use my iPad and I'm really happy with it, but we are here to talk about the XP-Pen tablet. So one of the things that I like about this tablet is that she's actually really wide and this is what I personally like. Since I have an online shop and I like to make goods, I like to see them in the real size. But if you prefer um, tinier tablets, you can totally find it on the XP-Pen store. So feel free to check it out and I'm pretty sure you will be able to find the tablet of your dreams. So now let's talk a little bit about the software that comes with the tablet. In the software you can personalize a lot of settings as well as all of the pencil buttons. It will probably be easy for you to find what you are looking for in the software. For example, the calibration or the pressure. You can also check the mouse mode. I couldn't explain it like while talking so I just want you to look at the screen and see how the mouse mode works. And you can also select the screen you want to work on, of course and also the zone you want to work on. So yeah, again, the software is pretty easy to work with. Now let's move on to Clip Studio Paint and the shortcuts with the keypad. This is something I really wanted to put into the video and it helps you to choose and change the tool you are using pretty fast. In order to do this and choose the shortcuts you want, just click on File, then Shortcut Settings and now as you can see, you can choose whatever shortcuts you want and link into any key you want. So if you want to know what my shortcuts look like, here it is. So here is the part that you are probably the most interested in, latency issues. As you can see, there is no latency when I click, but when I make large strokes, they only appear after my movement. In reality, it's really easy to adjust on this kind of tablet, you just have to lower the stabilization of your tool, the tool into Clip Studio Paint. You don't need a lot of stabilization with the screen tablets, unlike the pen tablets. As you can see here, if I set my stabilization to 50, there is a slight latency because the line has to be smooth but when I only put it at 20 the line takes shape as quickly as my movement this is as simple as that just lower the stabilization and everything will be good
So I will finish this video by showing you the speed paint I made with this tablet but also by telling you what I was talking about at the beginning of the video which is the huge sales on the experience website like if you want a tablet this is the time so just go on the website and adapt your baby that's it thank you experience for sending me the tablet and see you in the next video bye bye